Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, tonight we are going to be doing a quick pray with me. This is the second part in our 2019 prayer point series. Uh, these are the general prayer points. We will have other topics, other uh, prayer series, but for now we are just going to continue with what we have started a few weeks ago. I was a bit MIA, but praise God I am did not stop praying. I did not stop praying for you, but I just wasn't filming. So without further ado, here are the prayer points that we will be praying today. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I won't be doing it like I did last time. I will actually be praying through the prayer points and you might not even notice when I skip from one point to another because you don't exactly know what the points are. So I will be listing the prayer points below with a corresponding scripture, if there is a corresponding scripture. And yes, yeah, so without further ado, praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. This is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. 2019 prayer points part two. Today we are going to be praying for financial provision. You know, um, a lot of us, I think that sometimes we're a bit shy about praying about material things. I said this in the last video or one of the last videos, but we can't be shy. He's our dad. So anything we need, it's like a child will go to their parent and be like, mom, dad, I need X, Y, Z. So we should feel like we can do the same thing with the Lord. I'm not saying that, you know, everything you pray for, you're going to get. I'm like, Lord, I want to win the lottery. Um, I would love to have... A uh, Porsche Cayenne or a Porsche Panamera. Yeah, I would like, you know, like he said, he'll supply all our needs, okay? Maybe not all our wants, maybe some of them. But, anyways, like I said, without further ado, let's start. And I would love pray. for you guys to pray with me. You guys can play this while you're cleaning, while you're driving. That's the whole point of the way I'm going to actually do Amen. the video today. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for this day. We want to thank you for creating this wonderful day and placing us in it. Lord, we thank you because every day that we wake up, we know that we are still a part of your will here on earth. So Lord, we thank you because you are the creator of the heaven and the earth. Lord Jesus, we know that you own the cattle on a thousand hills. Lord, it is your will to bless us. Lord Jesus, there's no limit, oh God, to what you can provide for us, oh God. Lord, so we bring our needs to you today. We even bring our wants to you, Lord, because we know that it is your desire to bless us, oh God. Lord Jesus, I thank you because your word says in the book of Jeremiah that it is your will to bless us, to give us a future and a hope. Lord God, and in that future, we need provision, oh God. Lord Jesus, we pray for our children's future. Lord, we pray for the financial provision to put our children through school. Lord, we pray for the financial provision for tomorrow, Lord, because the future is tomorrow. The future is the next minute that we live, Lord. And we pray that every need that we have, you will supply, whether it is food, clothing, shelter, Shelter, Lord God. You know our needs today, oh God. Lord Jesus, it is your will that we would prosper, oh God. Lord Jesus, it is your will that everything we do would prosper. Everything our hand touches would be blessed, oh God. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for that. Lord, we thank you that you've given us the strength to make wealth. Your word says that you give us strength to make wealth. Lord, it is your will for us to prosper and it is your will for us to acquire wealth. Lord, we thank you because you give us the strength to have jobs, to have education, oh God, that gives us the finances to secure our future. Oh Lord. Thank you, oh God, that you promised that the righteous would never be forsaken nor their seed begging bread. Lord Jesus, no matter how dry the well may be, Lord Jesus, there is always something left. If there is something we are doing wrong, show it to us, O oh God. Help us to be good stewards, O oh God, of the riches that you've blessed us with, O oh God. Lord, help us to be faithful in tithes and offerings, O oh God. Lord Jesus, your word says in the book of Malachi that we should prove you, prove you by bringing our tithes to you, that you would not take the little that you ask us for and open, blow open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing so huge that we could not contain it. Help us to manage our finances wisely, oh God, Jesus. Help us, oh God, to build our house and not to pluck it down with our hands, oh God. In the name of Jesus, 
Help us, Lord Jesus, to be humble and to give to the poor, Lord God. Give us wisdom, O God Jesus, Lord, and help us to be hospitable. Help us to be willing, O God Jesus, not to close our fist with our riches, O God, but to have our hands wide open so that we can even receive more after we've given, O God Jesus. I pray, O God, that you will protect our increase from the devourer, O God. Protect our increase from the locust, O God Jesus. The locust, which is our enemy that would come and devour, O God, the things that you have blessed us with, O God. Lord Jesus, we thank you that your word says that you will supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory, Jesus. Lord, even if we feel that our needs are huge, Lord, we tell our mountain who our God is. We do not tell our God who our mountain is. And we declare right now that our finances are blessed. We declare right now that we have financial liberty. We have financial freedom. We declare that we have financial deliverance, deliverance from debt, deliverance from situations that we may have caused to ourselves that have put us in bad financial places, oh God. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you that going forward, we are going to walk in your wisdom, oh God, Jesus, and your guidance with our finances, oh God. Lord, your word says in Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Lord Jesus, we set our mind and our hearts on your kingdom, oh God. Your word says that you would give us our daily bread. Lord, that is our spiritual bread and our physical bread, oh God. We thank you for providing. We thank you for being the great provider. We thank you, Jesus, for loving us and taking care of us. Lord God, our heavenly Father, we bless your name right now. Have your way in our finances right now, oh God. We thank you for every blessing that you've given us, oh God. We trust you for tomorrow, oh God. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, Lord, we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that that prayer has been a blessing to you. But walk in the blessings of the Lord and remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. Take care and God bless.